2003, Bakersfield, California. Vincent Brothers claims he was in Ohio when his wife, Joni Harper, their three children, and his mother-in-law, Ernestine, were all brutally killed. But Detective Watts isn't buying it, and he's asked entomologist Dr. Lynn Kimsey for help. I got a phone call from the Bakersfield police asking whether or not we could tell where a vehicle had been based on the insects that were on the radiator. And I said, I don't know, but let's try. Even though the rental car had been washed, the radiator is still packed with bugs. Step one, Dr. Kimsey removes every piece of insect she can find. When I think of a car radiator, I think of things smashed to smithereens. So we were expecting tiny fragments. The sheer number of possible insects she's dealing with is staggering. In the United States, there are close to 200,000 known species of insects. Insect diversity is enormous. In California alone, I would estimate there are about 100,000 different kinds of insects. And to keep track of this staggering number, entomologists rely on collections like the Smithsonian Institution's National Insect Collection, one of the largest in the world. Here, they house over 35 million known specimens in more than 130,000 drawers, 33,000 jars or vials, and 23,000 slides. The collection helps scientists compare insects to known species and provide critical information about their geographical distribution. There were probably pieces of maybe as many as 100 different insects on the radiator and a few on the air filter. Dr. Kimsey finds a number of houseflies, which are found all across the United States. Honeybees, one of the most widespread insects in the entire world. And then, finally, she finds something that stands out, a portion of a grasshopper. The grasshopper was interesting because, you know, grasshoppers, they look kind of similar from across the country. But this one had bright red legs called the red-shanked grasshopper. And the coloration was very distinctive. What's also distinctive is that the red-shanked grasshopper is not native to Ohio. In fact, it's usually found in western regions like Oklahoma and North Texas. We're going, wow, we can actually do this. This is very cool. We can actually say, yes, the car had to be here. So how did the red shank grasshopper get into the radiator of a rental car from Ohio? Vincent Brothers claims he and his Dodge Neon never left the state. But this little grasshopper proves he's lying. <laughs> 